Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akamane101, and welcome back to some more Halo Wars! In the last episode, we did episode 13, Beachhead, and we got the gold, baby! Solid gold. The only thing we didn't do is get the Scarab. We also left Jerome for dead for 90% of the mission, but that's okay, because he got the scout. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue on into the penultimate episode of Halo Wars. Unless I'm wrong about it being 15 episodes, and then I will be a fool for calling it that. But whatever, whatever. Let's just go in. Is this really going to work, Professor? I believe this is our best hope. The overloaded FTL reactor will cause a chain reaction in the sun. Enough to destroy all the ships here before the Covenant can get a chance to make anything from them. Well, put simply, Captain, our reactor will cause the sun to go supernova, leaving nothing here but dust. That's the weak part of this plan, if you ask me. We've no way home without that reactor. One problem at a time, Serena. If the Covenant get their hands on these ships, it will mean the end of the war. We'll take our chances here to give humanity some hope. I know it's been a tough call, Captain. But it's the right one. Spirit of Fire, this is Forge. She's buttoned up and ready to go. Deliver that package safely, Sergeant. Keep the coffee hot. I'll be back before you know it. I'll be monitoring you from here, Sergeant. Well, it'll be pretty obvious if he succeeds. This is Victor 397. Stabilizers out. We can't carry her. Going down. Clear the area. We are dropping cargo. I don't want to take any more chances flying that core in. We're changing this to a ground operation. All right, why did that go in like completely unassisted by any air? Use elephants to drag it up those ramps. They're the only vehicle with enough torque to pull that damn thing. Ready. All right, boys, let's get ready to go. Ready. Ready to what did roll. he say? We need elephants to pull them? All right. Uh, I guess we'll make one as soon as we can. Might as well make one now? Upgrade complete. I don't think it really matters now. Let's try and grab some resources. Luckily, Forge is in his Warthog for now. We'll probably make a relatively good scout to send in. I'll say it's always interesting that only humans can apparently interact with Forerunner technology. So that must mean Forerunners were probably humans back in the day. Or human-like. Because uh, only... Like, it only responds to human touch. For whatever reason, in the entire franchise, only humans interact with Forerunner tech. I don't really know who the Forerunners were, because there's no explanation of it so far. All we know is they're basically just an ancient civilization. I mean, that tends to be the, 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 the go-to, right, for all sci-fi. There's some ancient foreign race that has been completely wiped off the face of the galaxy, of the universe, even. And have, uh supplied us with insane amounts of technology and ridiculous ca technological leaps. Basically, the story of Mass Effect. Although, of course, Halo came out before then, but regardless, it tends to be a trope that's very common. Uh, but yeah, I would be interested to see... You know what? We'll get the twin engine. We'll make a uh, elephant, get the twin engine out. Keep on prepping. And we definitely want to go... I think we're going to go double reactor... Uh, tank again. I know it seems kind of boring, but honestly, it seems to be working. Anytime we have mostly ground units, we seem to be all right for the most part. Let's move. I would be pretty shocked though. I still haven't played Halo Four or Halo Five, so I'm interested to see if the Forerunners are more explored in those games. Because obviously, in Halo Reach, nothing, nothing important happens. Like it just, this is how the Master Chief or whatever, or how the Player of Autumn ended up where they were, right? In, uh, right. in Halo Combat Evolved. All right, let's hitch the elephant up to the FTL core and go from there. Let's go. Rolling out. On the move. All right, get our elephant Order. hooked up. Into position. And we'll grab the twin engine just because it needs to move faster. On the way. Supply pad. Oh, God. Complete. Let's go. Let's move. Rolling out. Uh, Forge, you can make a let's shot. Roll. I'm going. There you go. 
I'm going. The fact you can just cheese the AI like this is always super fun. But alas, I am a monster. What can I say? Okay, we'll go for a power node. We'll go for a vehicle bay after. Twin Upgrade engine. both of our supply depots. What's next on the list? Defense turrets. Okay, yeah, I probably want that too. All right. One day the AI will confirm how to video game. Oh, it's almost there. Oh, it's going to do it. This is this is the most difficult part. Elephants mating with nuclear reactors. Am I supposed to, like, lock it up or something? Like, or is the game just bugged? I'm telling him now to move away, but clearly the game is bugged. This is unpolished. Oh, my. All right. <laughs> the first time I've ever seen Halo the way that it is. Am I going to have to reload my save? Right away. I've never seen it do this it. before. On the way. You got it. Spinning up Mac with Mac. Away. Alright, and for another elephant, please. Yeah. Moving Let's up. Let's hope this uh, fixes Bye. the problem. We probably should bring in some Cyclopses, but I don't know. Should we go infantry? I don't really want to go infantry. I feel like air is always the best. But then again, we... Going vehicle is also kind of weird. The reason I say that is because it's so expensive. It's like the most expensive route you could go next to maybe air. You got it. What you need? But at least you know you're investing in something hardy. Got it. Got it. Got it. Right, no, actually, everyone just get out of the way. Turret improved. You got it. Uh, let's get our bulldozer. Kind of shove this aside. Moving out. Moving there we go. It disappeared. Sweet. Vehicle yeah. depot complete. Moving okay. Out. I need you to mate. Can you do that for me? There we go. Is it because I gave it the twin engines upgrade mid thing? I wonder if that's it. That would be interesting if that was the case, but I would not be surprised. That's like the first major bug we've run into the game, so pretty impressive. Already ahead of Halo 2, which had probably the most bugs in the Master Chief collection. Dude, that game was just a mess. At times. I mean, it might arguably be the best in the Halo series, but at the same time, like, the Master Chief collection does a lot to ruin it. <laughs> just to ruin the- with bugs and crazy bullshit. Yes. At the end of the day. Moving out. Units just spawning inside of towers, inside of pillars, and stuff like that. Clipping and glitching out. It's that added charm, yo. Alright, let's get some scorps. Get a few scorps, you already got wolverines. Go all in, baby. More resources required. All I want is three scorpions, dude. More resources right. required. There we go. Rolling out. Commander Forge. Moving out. Prepped and ready. What's the next upgrade for our hero unit? Defense turrets. A light auto cannon to all out offense. This turret is only operable when the elephant is deployed. Oh. Another one after that, though, is like defensive, right? All right, where's our yeah, gunner? Got it. Oh god. Ready. Dude, damn. I guess vampires are gonna be a pretty common thing, huh? Moving out. Send us in. Alright, get in that scorp. I think right now might just be better off getting more scorpions rather than upgrading them. Maybe we go for upgrade to the reactor. Just get our four reactors out of the way and pray. This seems to be our target here. This forerunner tech over this way, around the northeastern side of the map. What you need? I know I always take a little bit of a longer period of time to get myself set up, but I feel like it's worth it for a safer run. Ready. Now, do we throw a Spartan into a Wolverine? I think so. We'll take a Wolverine. Why not? Moving out. Everyone's in a vehicle, which is nice. Rolling out. More scorps, please. Rolling out. Rolling out. You got it. Now, one more scorpion, and then I guess we'll grab a wolverine, which wolverines are pretty cheap. 
Unfortunately, it costs two people, though. 300, but two people. 500 for scorpions, but you get, it costs three people, which is so expensive. On the target. Thankfully, the elephant is anti-infantry. Which does help us considerably. We'll go control two and five on the mobile on the mini base. Fueled up. On the move. Rolling out. If that elephant gets destroyed on the ramp, the core will roll all the way back down. It's not going to be pretty. Oh, I see. They have actually uh, enemies coming from behind now. <laughs> Once the core reaches a flat area, it will no longer be in danger of rolling back down the hill. I see why it's entirely like this. Level ground. Oh God! Do try to avoid any unnecessary jostling. Gonna jackknife the damn thing. Let's go. Attack. Oh, good. There is a base right up here. Sweet. I wish I spotted that. I saw this thing here at the beginning, but wasn't actually expecting that. Okay, you know what? Pull back the elephant, please. On the target. While we're at it, let's go get our canisters upgraded and volley. Gotta pull back a little bit here. The core is taking damage. God damn, what is the range on these turrets? I'll get it. Hmm, I think the range is also uh, considered infinite. Ready. Halo infinite, that is. Uh -uh. Uh, units. All right, let's take out these turrets. Going in. This is just ridiculous. Spinning up Mac round. Mac blast incoming. I'll get them. All units. Let's get it. Canister shell. Reset. Knock them down. Oh, wow. oh, okay. The flutter here, too. Interesting. All units. Well, at least on the bright side, we're going to have access to another base. Going to have tons of money to afford this vehicle only run. We're going for upgrades here now that we have four <clears throat> set up, and we'll even get some more upgrades on the elephant because why not? Ready. I'm not sure if you can actually deploy while he's out in the field, but the idea is I want to get the upgrade that gives us uh, armor boost. is taking damage. It's fine. We can repair the core. All units. All right, everyone. If you could attack the uh, vampires, please. I'll do it. Thank you kindly. Here's repairs. Send us in. Or you don't need to be in there. Volley. Research. Actually, you do. Go grab the money. <laughs> I need the money. I do wish that it healed more. I guess you got to upgrade Defense it with the uh, the field research. bay, or whatever the hell, the Michael Bay. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. I guess this goes to show how powerful the upgrade is. Increasing the uh, the healing array. Actually, no, you can't even do that. You can't even upgrade it. Never mind. Maybe I just always thought it healed way more than it actually does. That could very well be it, honestly. Yes, sir. I'm going. Oh no, he's glitched. All right, there you go. Man, I wish you could operate. A vehicle like this in uh That's right. Euro Truck Simulator, dude. That'd <laughs> be awesome. Station complete. Okay, how do we want to play this one? I guess we go field up op operations and we just go all in on supplies. Upgrade. Ah, to do it. Finally gonna get our power turret. I would love to get dual launchers for power once. Maybe research. we just save up. Yeah, let's go one more anti-air. Ready. Ready. Fortress upgrade complete. Ready. Moving out. Ready. Turret complete. I'm on it. Field armory complete. I get the feeling these vampires are going to be relentless since we have to kill 20 of them, but I'm hoping that if we do the optional quest, it will just eliminate them outright. There should always be, like, some sort of tangible reward other than just, like, oh, you get more points now. And it did seem like it was that way early on in the game, like super early on, like in those missions in the snow map, 
I forget the name of it, but like Mission 2 or 3 or something like that. Um, if you actually went out of your way to do more of the missions, uh, the game would actually reward you with more troops and stuff like that. But then you just get missions that seem to like not really reward you that much. So perhaps this vampire defeation, uh, <laughs> defeating these vampire dudes will work out for us nicely. There's always a chance that it's completely pointless. And the only tangible, real reward for it is just getting extra points for the end game, I guess. I don't know. Improve. Turret complete. Keep our main forces coming out. Oh, we did get a Wolverine. Whoops. All right. I'm putting my foot down. We're getting the dual launchers. Because an extra rocket pod gives Wolverines considerable more damage potential. Yeah, I think... Being able to deal with more aer aerial units quicker, especially with vampires out, I think this is just worthwhile. So we'll get it. Come on, and more resources boom. Right. required. I'm so happy that scorpions can just deal with aerial units like this. Like, for a tank, you really don't think they should be able to do that, especially with the stubber in front of them. Like, that thing is pretty much locked to wherever the cannon's facing. <laughs> Which, as you can see, that's how it works. In this game too, it's just like it can aim straight up into the sky and have no problems. Got it. You got it. AKA overpowered. Although you can pretty much counter them with tons of uh, locusts. Locusts for days are usually pretty dope. All right, more money. I really don't know if there is a limit. I always just assume there isn't, and that I can potentially have infinite money. Unlimited money. Doesn't that just sound Supply wonderful? I guess we'll go for reserves first. Because I've been pretty bad about maxing out my troop numbers. Dual launchers researched. Dual launchers. There you go. Look at these beasts. Get that deeps up. And we'll just keep ignoring Cobras because no one cares about anti tank. Come on now. We are the tanks. That's all that matters. Yeah, we straight up just got Flood hanging out here, I guess. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll make a scout. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Supply pad complete. I like how the vampires are up there just hanging out. Oh yeah, there you go. Now they're shredding. They got this. Alright, I want my reserves up and running. So I'm just gonna drop some hot stuff on there. More resources required. More supplies. Okay, we got a uh, Warhog suite. Research. Okay, I don't really care about doing damage to the Warhog. That's why it's just not upgraded at all. We just want to scout. Just got to figure this out. See what's happening in the world of nowhere. In the meantime, let's grab more stuff. Oh, God. Probably would help if I put this on a numpad. Oh, God, dude. Okay, this is just all flood. Always has been. Damn. All right, good to know. Now we have uh, an idea of where our next route is to take us. Which works for me. As long as we know. I want to get ourselves the upgraded medium Mac Blast. Because I think it, one Mac Blast becomes two, and it doesn't cost any more. Which is kind of nice. Something nice about just seeing all these tanks... And anti-air just hanging out together, having a good old jolly life. Already at maximum population. Well, that's not cool, bro. Hey, regenerate healing target. My poor Wolverines. Moving out, moving out, moving out. On the bright side, because they keep sending stuff at us, we can just farm. Oh wait, that's one thing we should probably do is grab some of those little walker dudes. That might be it. Hey, what? That's just cheating. You see where they're attacking us from? <laughs> Alright, pull back just a little bit, then you have to move forward. Hey, what? That's cheating, too. Y'all can still snipe. Oh, it's good to know that the floods still have all the ridiculousness. Got it. Oh, they're gonna, like, do everything that anything else can do. They're not just zombies. They're super zombies. Barracks complete. Holy shit. 
Omega crazy nonsense zombies. Back improved. Okay. Oh wait, we can't. Ah, okay. Yeah, so our superpower is elephant. That makes sense. All right, recycle this. Uh, let's just go another vehicle depot. Can't see why not. But you know, let's go all in on Scorp. Turret complete. All right, everyone, let's move out. Ready to roll out. And now that we're all vehicles, we don't have to worry about the flood taking us over. So that's a nice little win. All oh, units. Trying to get our Mac blasts upgraded. And that would be the next thing we actually get as we move our troops up. I know I'm not looking at the combat, but this is the way of RTS. It's like 90% base management. And you, you know, the rest of it is really just try not to look at the combat too much. But at the end of the day, you just kind of got to. Upgrade. Also, I totally forgot to upgrade ceramic armor. All units. Well, that's all right. On the way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's 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 put this elephant back in the rear. All right, you know what? All units to be control one. Let's be control two. I'm gonna get these guys out of control one. Nice. I'm going. All right, get up there, boys. Up, up, and away. This is just all a hill. The developers were like, how can we be assholes? And they're like, I know. I know the way. Just put these massive hills here. Dude, we are just shredding, though. Hey, look, another base. Sweet. God damn. The volleys. Let's go. All right, I guess at the same time, though, keep making more Scorps. One more Wolverine ought to do it. Set a rally point up. God damn. There's something just like unbelievably satisfying about having all these tanks just working together to shred stuff. Scorpion fueled and ready. I'm going. Alright, elephant, you gotta go over here, bud. Yes, sir. On the move. Right on over here, friend. Rolling. Get our booties another base. And we'll just wait for the reinforcements real quick. And now we're pretty much golden, honestly. There's not really a whole lot else we need. We can go to Super Mac Blast. Capacity goes up for four shots. Who knew you could even do that? I didn't. We'll get this plopped down and we'll just quickly set it up. Station complete. All right, we'll upgrade it here. Let's go double vehicle bay. There ourselves all the turrets in the world. More resources required. I know it's kind of like a waste to not do it at the exact More time that we need it, but required. we're basically just chilling at infinite resources right now, so we should be fine. I don't think we'll need to change up our tactics to an air pad, so I think going all in on vehicles is fine. Okay. All we want units. Uh, all units control one, except for this one. There we go. Vehicle depot. Complete. Deal with these vampires real quick. And we'll just push our booties right up this hill. With our elephant right behind. Back improve. On the move. It is insane how fast scorpions are, dude. Oh, there we go. With our elephant right up here in the corner then. All right, let's fire this Mac cannon. Everything you got, boys. Regenerate healing 
I put my elephant on the side here. I don't know why, but I'm gonna upgrade that. Oh yeah, we don't have our Cobra armor. Never mind, don't do that. Get our Cobra armor. Extra defenses, please. Go all in on anti-air. Turret improved. Feel like that's the best choice. Dude, we are living the dream right now. We just have everything we could possibly want. Another base Turret incoming. Improved. The core is taking damage. Supply pad complete. Yeah, these darn vampires back here, man. Got it. I'm going. Rolling. Let's ride. I'm going. I don't know why we'd want this extra base, but you know, it's fun. It's something to do. Stay All right, and way. sweet. Uh, nope, we don't need this. Please. You know, this just be another supply pad unit. That's all that really matters. Ceramic arm research. Rolling out. Push our booties up. Oh wait, I didn't realize it as soon as right here. <laughs> Easy. On the way. Fortress upgrade complete. Alright, good luck, elephant. You just gotta get past this battalion of tanks. Alright, there you go, bud. Ready. A little bit wounded, but that's okay. Apex base. Spirit, we have reached the target site. Orders? Turret complete. Oh, wow. That was a really fun mission. Sergeant, engineers are on their way to rig the core. We're nearly there. For the first time and last time, you see an elephant go backwards. All right, and we got the gold. Wow, we're getting better at the game or the game's just getting easier. I'm gonna go with it's a little bit easier, but then again, when it's like base building and macroing and stuff like that, I, can, I feel like I can handle it much better. It's when it's like missions where you're limited on troops and resources where I just kind of go, oh, uh, what's the strat? Who knows, just wing it, I guess, you know. Also helps that we got all the achievements and we took over like every single base. So yeah, pretty easy gold, a lot of fun. And I can't wait for the potentially last episode. I think it is. Excited to see where this goes. Thank you very much for watching guys. See you in the next one.